Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into my... Hello my kings and queens, welcome to my channel, Goddess of Whispers. It's your girl Karen and I am so excited to welcome my Scorpios back to my channel. If you are a Knight K-N-I-G-H-T watcher, welcome to our royal family. I do want to let you know this is a general love reading. This reading may or may not resonate with all of my kings and queens, so take what does and leave the rest. If this reading does not resonate, please check with your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Also, the energies or the roles in my readings may be interchangeable, so apply yourself as you see fit. Don't forget, if this reading does resonate, don't forget to click like, share, subscribe, and click the bell to get future notifications when your girl will be uploading another video, as it helps the channel out so, so much, and you never know who can use this weekly message okay so thank you for sharing thank you for subscribing and thank you for liking in advance and for those of you who have already subscribed thank you so much from the bottom of my heart thank you for continuing to support the channel all right guys so as you know your weekly message does come with an extended in the, the extended we dive in deeper into the message the link is below should you want to access the extended one option is a membership option so for the same five dollars you'll be able to access as a member all zodiac sign um, readings to check out all your placements for all the extendeds that i have uploaded thus far also too if you do not want to be a member you have the option of just paying a one-time five dollar fee and you'll be able to access whatever extended reading resonates with you all right let's dive into your message this week already we are having the discontent and boredom card come out here interesting spirit what's the energy here for my scorpios this week Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus to the highest light for the purest good. A lot of energies. Wow. We have here foundation and achievement. We have heart chakra. Beautiful, beautiful. Spiritual union. And then we have obstacles and challenges. Interesting, interesting. At the bottom of the deck, we have temptation. So something is brewing here for you guys. Okay. And love matters. Let's see, um, let's get um, two more energies from this card, from the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck. What's the energy here? What's the energy here? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, okay, beautiful. And at the bottom of the deck, we got the Hunger card. So I took more energies than I normally would, but I feel like all these energies were meant to be here. So I am going to take them all. What the heck, right? So let's dive in here. So strong energy of someone could be living in fear here when it comes to love matters maybe not expressing how they truly feel about a situation i'm seeing there's definitely some challenges here or some obstacles within this connection or maybe there will be some cha challenges here the spirit guides want you to look with this discernment card they want you to judge a situation wisely something is about to come to light for you but things may not be as they seem so they want you to take look into the situation very carefully and judge very wisely is the advice here with this discernment card i'm feeling like some of you are feeling stuck though maybe stuck to face something or stuck to do something this could even be your person's energy we do have the hunger card here okay this card is all about facing a loss some type of difficulty you know the spirit guides are wanting you know wanting you to know to not give up keep going this could be why the obstacles and challenge card is here so maybe you took a break from this person maybe you're on the horizon of taking a break from this person something to that retrospect but this is definitely a love reading coming together with someone we have the two of cups here and then we have the four of wands so for some of you this is a family dynamic we have the heart chakra right smack in the middle there's definitely a lot of love here in this connection i feel like with the temptation card being here at the bottom of the deck this is all about you know someone here has been deceptive there's some type of deception that happened here it could be as simple as a white lie it could be more detrimental as far as someone cheating or have maybe having some type of addiction here it could be to alcohol drugs it could be anything around that around those realms i'm also seeing though 
someone tried, like someone tried their hardest to fight off this temptation, but they could not help themselves. Strong energy of that here. I feel like this is an energy, so maybe someone gave up on someone that they feel. Yeah, someone here gave up on someone that they feel could not give up on their ways. Whatever ways that may be, whether it's cheating, lying, you know, um, alcohol use, drug use, or substance abuse, take it as it resonates. Um, I'm seeing a strong family dynamic here though, but with this four cups energy, this is just strong energy about, you know, someone turning their back on their family, their home needed to do so, or, or someone's in regret that they weren't what they were supposed to be for their family. Almost like they're feeling regretful that they didn't meet the expectation of someone or they let someone down. That's the energy here. This person's feeling like they let, look at this guys. We have four, four, four right across the board, right across from each other. Look at that. Four, four, four. Strong energy. We have four to the third power here. Strong energy going on here, guys. Um, fours are all about building a foundation. This is about planning, structure, foundation. So this definitely has a strong, and look at what we have here, foundation and achievement. Strong energy of a family dynamic here. Someone feels like they let their family down, you know? Let's dive into this energy. Let's see what's going on, because there's a lot going on here in this reading. But someone here is definitely... Um, maybe someone turned their back on someone here because of it. We have the five here. We have a five, which is all about unexpected changes. Something happened here. Okay. Someone here is definitely regretful, feeling sad, feeling stuck, feeling alone. Okay. Feeling like they're, they're in a loss. They lost something. But it's requiring you to be courageous. Face your fears. Yeah, strong energy. Let's see what we got going on, guys. Okay, because I'm picking up on a lot of things here. Thank you so much. Look at that. There goes that four cups there again. We have the four cups here. Look at the four cups right here. Strong fours. Yeah, someone's feeling like they weren't what they were supposed to be. Like they let you down. Okay, we have the six of cups here. This is all about reminiscing, looking back at the past. Okay, with the seven of wands, this is all about standing your ground in a situation. But nonetheless, someone here is protecting their energy. Let's see what else is here. Look at that. I said protecting their energy. Look what came out. The four of pentacles. Strong four energy. Wow. Okay, and then we have the two of pentacles here. Weighing out your options. You know, needing time to figure things out with this two of pentacles energy. Having to make a decision. This decision, you know, I feel like things became too much in the situation because the two of pentacles is right under the, the uh, two of cups, the spiritual union card. So definitely strong energy. Something became way too much. Someone had to weigh out what their options were. And that's I feel like those options was should you stay or should you go? Should you continue this connection? Something was like it wanted to come out there, but someone here is heavily guarded. Someone's protecting their protecting their energy from the situation. And look what's at the bottom of the deck, the two of cups. Yeah, someone here is being very guarded towards this love connection. I feel like someone let you down or you let someone down, you know, maybe. Yeah, let's see what this is all about. Let's see what we got. Yeah, look at that. We have the death card and then we have the empress. And at the bottom of the deck, we got the Queen of Wands. I'm feeling like strong energy here with a death card. Things have ended between you and this person. But with the discernment card here, this is all about looking at something very carefully. You know, judging a situation very wisely. Something may not be what it, it, what it, as it may seem. You know, like there's a bigger picture here. And then with the Empress card here, this is all about growth. You know, so someone here could be finally facing their fears, you know, ready to release uh, whatever it is that they are dealing with. 
you know i'm sensing strong energy of growth here wanting to do what's right here uh let's see what's underneath here we have the queen of wands and then we have the eight of wands this is strong energy of success that's what i'm gathering from this i'm sensing also communication you know the queen of wands is someone who is very you know passionate outgoing independent strong confident you know so this whoever's in this energy you could be dealing with a aries leo or a sagittarius take it as it resonates so someone is i feel like someone here is getting their power back okay someone here is putting in the work okay i feel like someone's releasing an energy here someone's releasing something that no longer serves them releasing negativity out of their life Let's go ahead and dive in. Let's clarify these energies because there's a lot going on. Spirit, clarify the Four of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Seven of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, the Death Rebirth card, and the Empress. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we have the Seven of Swords. What are the energies is here? Clarify the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? Clarify further. Okay, we got a lot going on. So we got the Six of Cups clarified by the King of Cups. And the Ace of Swords. Interesting, interesting. Somebody's wanting a new beginning. Or at least thinking about it. You know, we have the Ace of Swords. It's all about a new beginning, but it's also too about cutting people off. So you could have cut, left this person in this King of Cups energy. You could have been dealing with a um, Pisces Cancer or a Scorpio here. That's your own energy. Or maybe you're the one who cut someone off. You know, strong energy of that here. We got way too many cards, but what stood out is the chariot. This, yeah, this is all about overcoming obstacles. Yeah, overcoming obstacles. And look what all is here. We have the two of wands, the tower, the strength card, and the two of pentacles needing to make a decision. Look at the two of pentacles is here. Needing the strength to make a decision. This is after things were at a disarray between you and this person. Okay, these things have come to an end here. I'm feeling like this is you planning, making future plans, you know. Building the strength to move on or having the strength to make this decision, weighing out your options. Is this situation right for me or should I leave? Should I go? That's what this two of pentacles is here about. Okay, but strong energy here. This is all about you overcoming obstacles, pushing through, moving forward. Clarify the two of pentacles. Why is the two of pentacles here? Clarify further spirit. What's the energy here? Why is this two of pentacles here? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we have the page of swords. Yeah, this is all about, look at that. And the justice card is at the bottom of the deck. This is about truths to a situation coming to light here. You know, you found something out. This person was not honest with you about something there's some truths here coming to a light this person could have had you as an option maybe that that's the addiction here you know the four pentacles is all about you no longer wanting to invest in the situation look at that we have the two of swords yeah this is all about you feeling like you're at a crossroads needing to make a decision for the betterment of yourself no longer wanting to put forth the effort in a situation that you feel like no longer serves you clarify the death card why is the death card here clarify what's the energy here clarify the death card why is the death card here? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we have the judgment card clarifying the death card. Didn't I say judge wisely? And look what came under the discernment card. The judgment card. I feel like you, whatever decision you made, you took a break from this person. This is you. This is the four swords. You took a break. You've ended things with this person. You've made a judgment on the situation. You saw it for what it was. Yeah, this is what it is. You made a judgment. You decided to leave. Clarify further. Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here? Thank you. We have the Page of Wands. I feel like with the Page of Wands energy, someone's going to come in here and speak with you. Look at that at the bottom of the deck. We got the King of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, so someone here is wanting to communicate with you. Strong energy here with the Page of Wands. This is all about, you know, someone here... This is about good news coming in, though. Someone's going to face their fear, you know, and come in and speak with you about something. Whoever this is in this King of Pentacles energy, okay? The King of Pentacles is someone who is very, you know, um, very wise, a provider in situations, prefers security and stability in situations as well. It could be a, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. 
But yes, yeah, someone here is wanting to talk to you in this King of Pentacles energy. This person could be financially well off as well. Or just meaning very stable in situations. But I'm also seeing here, you cut this person off. I feel like this is your energy. Things became too much. There was a lot of emotions in the situation. I feel like this is someone from your past. You know, but you move forward. You pushed through. You moved ahead. You you guarded yourself from this situation. Strong energy here, guys. Look at that. We have the world card here. This is all about learning life lessons, going through cycles, going through the flow, rebuilding. Yeah. You guys are going to want to meet me over in the extended, guys, because I'm seeing strong energy. There's a lot of energies coming through, but I'm definitely seeing this is a situation where this person was very sneaky, very manipulative towards you. We have the seven of swords with the four of cups. You know, we have the four on the fours on the board all through this board. We have the four, 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 four and four again. So the four is here of uh, what? Five times. Strong energy of just wanting a strong foundation. Someone here definitely feels like they're in this energy of regret like they put their family down you know um kids could also be involved in the situation take it for how, how it resonates okay but yeah there was a lot of emotions here you walk you cut this person out of your life because of the sneakiness the manipulation you know could it be cheating cheating is strongly here on the board too we got the two of pentacles that show up twice so someone here was being made an option Okay, with the chariot card here, this is all about you persevering, pushing through, you know, uh, working on you, leaving the home behind. Okay, and then we have the two of pentacles clarified by the page of swords and the justice card. This is about troops coming to the surface. Okay, justice being served in the situation. And then we have the four of pentacles clarified by the seven of pentacles and the two of swords. So strong energy here, having been feel, feeling like you were at a crossroads, needing to make a very difficult decision. But that decision you made was to protect your own energy, move forward from this connection. We have the death card being clarified by the judgment card and the four of swords. That's all about you taking a break from the situation. You know, judgment being made in this in this situation. The judgment was, do you stay or do you go? And I feel a lot of you took a break. You needed to leave the situation. The person. This person was just very sneaky, very dishonest, very manipulative. And then we have the Empress clarified by the page of wands being clarified by the King of Pentacles. So someone here is going to be facing their fears. That's what this is all about. Someone here is going to be coming in towards you. They see you as their Empress. Okay, Emperor, take it as it resonates. But someone here is wanting to communicate now. You know, I feel like someone's missing you very deeply. They're missing the energy that you guys share together. They're missing that happy dynamic. But nonetheless, you're going to want to meet me over in the extended. We're going to dive into this energy a little bit deeper and see what is coming in towards you. OK, and then we're also going to find out what the outcome of the situation is going to be. You know, how is this person truly feeling towards you? And if there's new love on the way, and then we're going to close up with some advice from, from spirit. So I will see you, my Scorpios, in the extended till next time. Bye. I guess you're back. Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply.